Here we have the Freedom Festival, Free to be Free, Los Angeles 2011. And um, people think that freedom is something inherent. Uh, we, we just because you, you, know, you are entitled to freedom and uh, you just go out and do whatever you believe freedom uh, dictates or is, do it. And, um, and it's becoming a problem. You see, the constitution that gives uh, these freedoms it's a very sacred document. And, uh, if one does not have an education, then one assumes that this is something special and that, uh, you know, just go out and be happy and just go and do what you feel like doing. But you got to remember that founding fathers, though they were involved in cultural aspects from the um, Middle Ages, yet they were revolting against many of the aspects of the Middle Ages, like when church dominated the state and only uh, the high officials in society had freedoms and, and, and immunities and so forth. And uh, they realized that these things were corrupting. Um, Galileo said that the world was wrong and uh, he lost his life over that. So, the uh, founding fathers were there. Uh, there was an overrule in, in their minds. They, uh, what I'm saying is that uh, they, 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 they demonstrated their logic and, and, and they show you how Washington is built in some kind of miracle sort of gibberish and whatever. So that God had to come in and overrule these guys' uh, tendencies and so forth. And perhaps this is why we have the problem with the Constitution because it's not the perfect document as people trying to make it appear. Um, because they were still into cultural aspects in the Middle Ages. They hadn't divorced themselves completely. Of course, they weren't on the Roger Williams, um, you know, uh, voyage and landing at Plymouth. Uh, I don't even know the history of these brothers, but nevertheless, the document is an important one. Now, they should have said that all of these freedoms and these amendments are yours if you uh, believe in the God of the Bible and willing to live the way he dictates that you live. Because the police can never monitor everybody's lives. The FBI is trying, but nobody can do it. It's God who, in people's private moments, is there guiding them and, and giving them understandings and persuading them and dissuading them and a whole variety of things. So when they come out there, we all will be in unison in, 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 in the way we uh, approach freedoms. One plan is this. this. And Galileo lost his life because he came to the truth that the world was wrong. And the religious basically was a time when error and, and superstition dominated. So that uh, here in America, individuals were given the right to think different, think outside the box, and, and come up with new concepts. It weren't that I should tell you what I think of you without any evidence to support it. You know what I mean? Or go around telling people that they, they're going to be lost, which is kind of like judging. But if I see an individual is have a certain lifestyle, always with a gun, always selling powder and legal activity, I mean, I'm not going to judge him, but I'm going to say that this guy and I, we have different uh, divergent expectations and, 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 and so forth. And I will not associate with him except to say, hey, hey how are you doing, bro? Have a nice day. And I'm gone. See? So, uh, cursing shouldn't be covered by the First Amendment and telling people what you think, uh, whether it's moral or whether it's something ethical or whatever. Uh, you know, it should be just the truth and with respect. And even though it's true, it may not necessarily be necessary to um, sort of uh, um, promulgate or to uh, advertise it as such. Um, People's privacy should, you know, dominate, and and it's working both sides. Um, people feel that they should say things about others that, um, you know, they, they have a right to, and people do things that others don't agree with, but they think that's their right. And so this freedom here, of people are going around putting graffiti all on your buildings and on your cars and stuff like that. And if you were to do it to their vehicle and their parents' home, they're gonna kill you. In fact, um, in New York, in uh, Los Angeles, there was this ex-gang member who um, started working with the police and trying to keep the community up and up and up. 
But this individual forgot what he used to do as a gang banger. One, and secondly, I don't know if his mind has been cleared enough for him to embark on trying to help the community move forward. I mean, it's a good strategy by the police to say, well, okay, we can have one guy less to worry about if we bring him in and give him a couple of bucks and so on. Um, nevertheless, one guy was doing some graffiti, he got out telling the fellow something, and the guy pulled out the gun and shot him. Uh, I mean, he should have had a gun, and had his gun out already when he talking to this guy, because he should know what type of guys he's dealing with. Or, make sure that the, the guys with the cops come in, and, you know, trail the guy from before, and, and make sure to take him in and give him the help he needs. So he went and he got shot. So, I, I think that freedoms are real good, and the Constitution is real good especially if uh, you let of God and if you respect yourself and others and you're willing to um, something, give deference to others, I think it's good. But if this freedom is to uh, be perverted, um, damage people's property, get into people business, be selfish, uh, steal people's ideas and all that, I don't think so.